with you, the show with tall tales and tantalizing truths. On David Mitchell's team tonight, a heavyweight boxer who Lee was telling me earlier he could definitely, definitely take in a fight, <laughs> is David Hay. <laughs> and a comedian and former maths teacher, when he goes to a gig 200 miles away on a train traveling at 70 miles per hour, he knows exactly what time he'll get there. It's Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> And on Lee Mack's team tonight, a musician who once had 300 girls faint at his gig. Uh, that happened to me once. The St. John's ambulance chalked it up to boredom and poor ventilation. <laughs> it's Martin Kemp. <laughs> and the hottest thing to come out of the Great British Bake Off since a burnt brioche in Bread Week, it's Mel Gedroyd. <laughs> So, we begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. To make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They've no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. Uh, David Hay, you're first up tonight. I refuse to play my son at tennis since he beat me at the age of five. <laughs> How old is he now? He's eight now. So you're not playing for three years? No. Because you really don't like losing? I hate losing, particularly uh, to someone so small and who laughs hysterically as they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of your opponents, you don't mind boxing them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I take, him to the, take him to the park sometimes for him to play other adults and take great pleasure in watching him beat them. Uh. That's like one of my favourite things to do, just go and say, I bet you can't beat him. And I'm like, OK, how much? I'm like, how much do you want to bet? And yeah, this is lovely, so you're sort of pimping him out as a... <laughs> as a, a betting. He gets, gets ten percent of it. Yeah. <laughs> Has he got, like, Lego and stuff? I mean... No, he's, uh, he's, very, he's very active, very active. He had, he mm. had a lesson with uh, Boris Becker the other day. It was the what? Boris coach, yeah. Were you watching? Boris yeah, there, that must be terrifying for Boris Becker. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're doing really great. well. Really, really good. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your boy's name? Cassius. Cassius? <gasps> mm. oh. So he's Cassius Hay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, where did you get that idea? <laughs> <laughs> With my kids, I was one of those fathers that everything they did, I let them win. You know, they, they, yeah. none of that yeah. there's, no, there's no fun in that, though, mate. Like, <laughs> what's really enjoyable is really crushing them. Like, if I... <laughs> like, if I was you, I would have gone away and had secret tennis lessons and then casually just got, do you want to have a little knockabout? Then slam! <laughs> <laughs> Now! <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to pay Boris or was it a favour? No, it was a favour. He heard through the grapevine about Cassius being uh, a. One player. day you know you're going to get the call, don't you? Hello, David. <laughs> 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 Perhaps you remember what I did for your son. <laughs> <laughs> now it's payback time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck in a cupboard. <laughs> So what are you going to say, Lee? Truth or lie? What do we think? What do you think, Martin? Uh, I think <laughs> it's true because... You're I, not listening, are you? You're undressing it. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, yeah. I'm sorry. She's I'm looking just... straight past you. Mel, have no, some sympathy for the man. Now I know, He's now now I know how Tony Hadley feels. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to say? The Boris Becker seems a bit... Extraordinary for me. Mm. Mel is saying lie. Martin, I'm can. saying yeah. true. You're saying true. true. Lie. True. We'll go with Martin and say you're going to say it's true. true. Okay, David. Truth yeah. or lie? <laughs> it's true. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's true. David does refuse to play his son at tennis since he beat him aged five. Uh, Mel, it's your turn. Um. When I was a child, the only thing that would get me to sleep was my parents reading me the takeaway menu from our local Chinese restaurant, the Flying Chopstick. <laughs> <laughs> David's too. <laughs> at what age was this? I'd say it kicked off at seven and probably lasted about a year. Was it read out in any type of accent? No. Well, my Do dad... You, would you say any type? Any type there's one, accent, there's one specific yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> If, you, if they're really in a French accent, it'd be nice. It's quite surreal, isn't it? But I'll no, go with it. My, my dad is half Polish, half Lithuanian, so it had a sort of Eastern European tinge. 
Could you give us a kind of a, a little rendition? So it would be something along the lines of... Um... This will be interesting. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be something... We'll just separate ourselves <laughs> from the, uh, the person doing yeah. the routine. You, you don't, oh, you don't want to be in the clip when it comes on the news, yeah. do you? <laughs> <laughs> So Dad would say, for example, um, black bean with um, chop suey, something like that. Black bean. Was your dad the fella from Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah. One, one pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> Two lovely pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, light, light, light chi, light chi for the end of, of the menu. Lychee, that's the yeah, way I, I know, I know that. They, 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 the flying chops, they just serve a single lychee, don't they? Yeah. Lychee. Yeah. 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 It was a staple. It. It, was the, it was the 70s. Things were a little bit sparse then. It was, it was um, Wilson's, you know, things are hard. I can't remember his speech, but you know the one I mean. Things are terrible. Wilson's things are hard. <laughs> Wilson's yeah. things are hard. Yeah. Wilson. Yeah. Harold Wilson, <laughs> things are hard. Yeah. 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 We've only got yeah. lychees. <laughs> Guys. How far into the menu would you drift off? That's a very good question. That's why I asked it. Yeah. <laughs> My eye would be sort of fully open, like that. A little bit like... Um, one, just one eye open. One eye open, always right. looking, always just checking. And then I would say, by the end of the first page, the eye would be down. So you used to so get to page. sleep half a face at a time. <laughs> Can you remember the first time that this happened? It would have been... Oh, I think it was on a Friday night. Mum and Dad would have been entertaining, mm -hmm. and I laughed a lot and then fell asleep. So what do you think, then? David, hey, how is this striking you? Uh, it, the, the detail... The fact that she knew straight away what day it was on a Friday night... I don't remember what, what day it was when you were seven. Oh, I, I can't did. remember last week. I get punched in the head for a living, but... <laughs> <laughs> But David, they did it a lot. There was rep there was repetition. They did it a lot. Repetition, eh? Repetition. So I knew yeah. the menu back to front because they did. It, they had to do it so. Well, often. that's just Chinese. It would be that way, anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ramesh, what are you thinking? Uh, I, I think it. I, no, I don't buy it. David, what, that's just, what, two Davids. We'll call you the, the haymaker and the librarian. What? <laughs> What are you thinking, David? Well, I think I don't believe it. Do you really, I like the system you've got there. We're going to call you the haymaker and the librarian. So what do you think, David? <laughs> <laughs> I think... I don't think... She's... At the age of seven, yeah. I think a seven-year-old child will require a coherent story. All right, so you're saying it's a lie. Well, let's find out, Mel, truth or lie? The story was, in fact... A lie! <laughs> Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Carlos. <laughs> David Hay, what is Carlos to you? This is Carlos, and I accidentally knocked him down in a boxing demonstration. <laughs> Ramesh, how do you know Carlos? Uh, this is Carlos. I once broke my strict vegan diet because I didn't want to offend him. <laughs> and finally, David Mitchell, your relationship with Carlos. Uh, this is Carlos. He came to my house to deliver a pizza, but we ended up building a bed together. <laughs> So there we have it. Is Carlos... <laughs> is Carlos David Hayes boxing buddy, Ramesh's diet destroyer, or David Mitchell's DIY delivery guy? Lee, where do you want to start? Uh, David Hay, the haymaker. Where was this uh, demonstration? Um, it was at my gym. Was it your gym? At my gym. And, and you were demonstrating... As I was demonstrating. He works in uh, a school that I used to go to when I was a kid. And the kids came to the gym to do a boxer demonstration. Oh, I see. And, and he Carlos got in the ring. And I do this thing where I let people punch me and I don't punch them back. And they, they get points if they can hit me in the face because I'm really quick. OK. And as I was doing that, I kind of put my arm out. Jabbed. And I don't normally hit people. I'm quite controlled. But this time, it just sort of hit him and 
He wasn't, did you have he wasn't knocked out, knocked out like asleep, but he was knocked on the floor. And what did the kids do? They was laughing their heads. I thought it was the funniest <laughs> thing. Really? Like, so sure. basically, you have said to this poor man, yeah, come yeah, in the yeah. ring, hit I, me in the it, face, and you've got you honestly, I, pro I, won't I promise him hit I won't hit you back. back. <laughs> yeah, and, I, yeah. and you hit him back. Yeah, I've done, it a hundred, I've done it hundreds of times and never hurt anybody. For those who, I mean, I'm a bit of an authority, but for those <laughs> who don't know much yeah. about boxing, could you show us? Could you just demonstrate what, what sparring is? Okay. Imagine, imagine you're you and say yeah. Rob is is Carl. Well, no, I can't. I, 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 I can't. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, I can do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, you are tall. I'm 6'1. You must be what? <laughs> okay, nothing sudden. Okay, what we were doing, <laughs> we had the gloves on, he was punching me, and I'm, I'm sort of blocking, so he's trying to hit me. So, shall I try and hit you? Yeah, he's trying to hit me. I can try and hit you. Yeah. What are you going to do back to me? That's oh, fine. My... <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I had you then, didn't I? Watch that one, watch that one. <laughs> oh, he's getting ready to hit me, I can feel it. Can I give you one in the stomach? Ready? Oh. Ready? Here we go, ready? Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> We're getting in the gentle one back. No, I, I don't want a gentle one back. No, no, I get... No, no, no. It was very nice, no, thank no. you very much. I, as I said, I get back what I get again. That was hard. Oh. Who do, you, who do you want to ask next? OK, so, uh, well, Ramesh, <laughs> you broke your vegan, you broke your diet, vegan diet to be polite. Exactly. Yes. OK, so where were you? I was in a restaurant. And who is this gentleman to you? He worked at the restaurant. Okay. What was it called, do you remember? Uh, yes, it was called Benito's Hat. And what did you order, Ramesh? I went for um, a burrito, a vegetable burrito. So it's Mexican food? It yeah. is Mexican, Mexican, yes, Martin. Right. I didn't know you were a connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was it he made you eat? Well, he... I was, sitting, I was sitting eating my burrito on my own. It was quite a dark scene. And then <laughs> he came over and he said, um, you're the comedian, aren't you? And we said, you're a comedian. I said, yes, I am. And he said, um, we've got this for you. What and was it? It was like this sort of... I don't know what it's called. It was like a dessert, but it looked like it had more dairy in it than I'd ever seen in my life before. <laughs> and dairy is not good for a vegan. They don't like... Dairy. It invalidates you lose the badge. <laughs> Are there any vegans on the panel? I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegan. Not a vegan. Yeah. So yeah. you're a vegan. vegan. Mm. David Hay is a vegan. A, I eat a plant-based diet. A plant-based diet? Like mm. picture you like a like a brontosaurus pulling <laughs> trees up by their by their roots, just grabbing at the tall leaves. Brontosaurus is a vegan. I know that's why I said it. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> Change your blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives it's a free dish because he likes your comedy. And yeah. He... So he so he says, "Oh, I've got this for you." Yeah. And I just sort of felt under pressure, you know. I, I, he was like, he'd done a really nice thing. They cut the slice out of somewhere and they decorated it and they'd done a little thing with it. And I just thought, I don't want to go. You've offended my sense So how did it taste? I mean, incredible. It was good. It was, it, was, it was one of the best things I've eaten in a long time. <laughs> I was a uh, vegetarian for about 10 years, and uh, oh. I always said, nope, I'm not going to eat that, I'm a vegetarian. Yes, ordinarily, if you were at a, you know, a party or Had something, somebody says, do you want this? No, I'd not been drinking, no, but... You could use that as an excuse. Uh, <laughs> is that the type of vegan you are, 3 o'clock in the morning, eating a kebab? Just, I'm drunk, mate. <laughs> What about... Uh, it's called David. Little David. Oh, the bed story. Right, so he, call, he called for a pizza. Oh, yeah. Carlos yeah. came round delivering the pizza and they ended up building a bed oh. together. Right. <laughs> well... <laughs> you, well what... <laughs> <laughs> was the bed a flat Come pack, on. then? Is it that was a came? flat pack, yeah. Was it for yourself? No. Who was it for? It was for my parents. Had they not visited before? <laughs> uh, well, they had visited before, but not... They'd they not... would sleep standing up. <laughs> <laughs> they'd not uh, stayed the night before in that house. We wanted to keep things on a formal standing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think David orders pizzas? Can't imagine ordering It's amazing pizza. the things that people won't believe of me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine him ordering pizzas. Orders pizza. pizzas? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, what, else, does? Well, what else would he do in a situation where he needs food quickly? I think he'd order some sort of Roman feast or a, <laughs> I don't know, or a Tudor meal. I, I agree, <laughs> I agree, but those sort of shops have been closing down <laughs> at quite a speed recently. <laughs> I can't imagine him just a ordering... A Tudor meal? <laughs> 
I could just speed dial Tudor Mill. I'll just add the Tudor Mill number four. <laughs> With extra wrens. <laughs> So he knocks on the door. When he knocks on the door, did you immediate? Did you have a plan that when yeah. the pizza man comes round, you're going to ask him, or was it a spur of the moment thought? Well, the body of the last pizza man was beginning to smell. <laughs> <laughs> you murder one pizza man, then you have to murder another pizza man. That's yeah. the domino effect. I, I, the bed was. <laughs> And you'd been trying to make this bed on your own. I had. Which bit had you got to? And well, broadly, I'd managed to get a sort of side bit in the bed head bit. Right. And some of the kind of slats were more or less in Let's place. Let's be honest, you've almost finished, then. <laughs> you, you put the slats on already, but you mm. still haven't done the bottom. Yeah, I couldn't... You didn't do the slats at the end. Put the slats on before exactly. you attached yeah, sure, the so. two side bits that to what, the What else the did you do? Had you also made the bed and plumped the pillows? <laughs> I mean, how far you gone in the wrong order of all this? So the doorbell goes, here's your pizza. Oh, I'm... it's you. Hello, mate. Um, here it is, extra pepper army. There's the money. You give him the tip. I haven't given him the tip yet. The tip happens later. I give, I give him a much... Oh, my God, I want you to come to my bedroom and then... <laughs> there may be a tip in it for yeah. you. Um, uh, no, I, I come to the door quite hassled. I think possibly holding two or three random pieces of wood. Um, <laughs> yes. And I say, uh, look, I'm terribly sorry, but could you just help me with something for, for a minute? I'm, I'm just trying to assemble a piece of furniture. Right. And, and I just need someone to hold the other end while I shove something in. <laughs> um, I, I, can't, I can't vouch that those were my exact words. <laughs> All right, well, we need an answer. Yeah. Well, we need to rule one out. That would help. We could just rule one in, and then that's quicker. There you go. Little David out. Definitely. Real little David out. Yeah. Well, then we're left with the haymaker, <laughs> let's say, brutalising the teachers <laughs> in a one sided fight. Or Romesh. I mean, it's in the nicest possible way, Romesh, but your face doesn't scream accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it going to be, Lee? Time to make a choice. <laughs> You Do want to go with David? The haymaker. The haymaker. We'll go with the haymaker. You're going with the haymaker. Big David Hay, you're saying yeah. it's a teacher. You accidentally knocked him down on the floor. OK. Yeah. yeah. Carlos, so would you I'm... please reveal <clears throat> your true identity? Yeah. Hello, my name is Carlos, and I made Ramesh break his vegan diet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Carlos is Ramesh's diet destroyer. Thank you very much, Carlos. Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies. And we start with... It's Lee. In the last year, I have broken not one, but two world records. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. <laughs> world records. <laughs> you heard it right. <laughs> well, I know. Uh, it's a darts world record, actually. The one sport I actually am not bad at. Are they both in darts? Both, yes. Both <laughs> records are in darts. Both and what records. are the two records in darts <laughs> that you now hold? I am the world record holder for the most amount of number twos in a minute. <laughs> uh, and I'm also the world record holder for the most bullseyes in a minute. But not just the bullseyes, the green bit, the outer 25 as well. Right, so the most number two is in a minute. Correct. And the most bullseyes. So, how many is it? That's a good question. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, the number twos, it's 18 number twos in a minute. Yeah. And the bullseyes, or 25s, was 12. Did you get an official, like, records adjudicator Guinness book, to come Guinness, The Guinness, Guinness Book of Records were there. You're saying I'm, that you're in the Guinness I'm Book of Records. I'm going to be in the Guinness Book of Records this year, yeah. How was it organised? It was actually... Uh, a television programme got involved, so they, oh, they, they booked the people. What television programme? Not that programme that hasn't been on for 20-odd for years. <laughs> Cheryl Bates. The new one called Officially Amazing, which is the children's version on children's television. Uh, Do you watch uh, children's I television? I think the one you were talking about was also for children. It's just you were a child then. <laughs> And did they, did they televise both of your records? Did they think, God, that twos one was good? Yeah. Let's have a look at that, vary that up, 
by having a aim at the bullseye. Mm. Did no, they, think they, that was... they told me in advance I could have a go at both world records. I think, to be fair, the first world record, the most number twos in a minute, was a w world record that had never been attempted before. <laughs> oh, so, so there was, they, there was no current, there was no, there was no uh, record to beat. So, you, well, so they, one would have won it, No, because they set, they set a bar. They say, you have to be at least a minimum standard. It's not like your opponents. You have to... Uh, <laughs> you have to... <laughs> So, no, don't, don't anger him. Don't anger him. So, uh, yeah, you have to reach a minimum standard, and I think the minimum standard for that, they said, was 14. But the Bulls and 25s was an official record that did exist. What was the previous record? 11. And you got...? 12. 12. What are you thinking, David? <laughs> well, what do you think? Ah, it's, it's, it sounds quite plausible. Like, there's loads of those kids' shows when they do those silly challenges no, no, and stuff. No, 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 no. Don't undermine my moment. No, no, this no, wasn't no, a silly no, little no, child. No, this no. was the world record. Yeah, but yeah. as you say, it was a world record. It was the uh, first one, the but the other one. one. Someone's got to be the first one. No, but the other Someone one was, was there. The other it... one wasn't. Don't make me come over there, David. <laughs> so the other one already existed and was 11 by set Who by an American. <laughs> Ramesh, I don't buy it. I just think that. I think that they wouldn't let you go for two records in a show. Officially amazing, I've never heard of. That isn't officially amazing. It's not official, or is it amazing? <laughs> it might be. Sort of oh. if, it, if, it, if it was a show called Vaguely Interesting, <laughs> then I'm not... <laughs> OK, we'll say lie. You're going to say lie? Mm. OK. Lee, world record holder, twice. Truth or lie? <sighs> it is, in fact, true. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it's true. Lee has broken two world records. And to prove it, here's a clip of Lee doing just that. Time is running out. Come on, Lee, get those darts in. A perfect set. In that attempt, you achieved... 12 wishes of brand new Guinness World Records title. Come on! Come on! Yes, well done, Lee, world record holder. It's Martin. I was once hospitalised after fooling around with a blow-up toy. <laughs> David C. What was the blow-up toy? Well, it was a lilo. A lilo? <laughs> Just an, a normal flat lilo? It, it was a normal flat lilo, but oh. it had a bit sticking out of it uh, that held your... Margarita, like a cup yeah. holder thing on the edge. Where that... were you? Club Tropicana? <clears throat> <laughs> well, somewhere very <laughs> similar to that, Ibiza. And I was in the swimming pool, and you know when you put your arms up here on your lilo as you're laying down? Yes. And someone came up underneath my lilo, pushed it over, and my arm completely goes out of socket. It's completely disjointed, sticking out like an Ooh. L shape. What happened to your margarita? <laughs> <laughs> Spilt. How long did it take for your arm to heal up afterwards to get back to normal? Great well, question, I, David. Well, I get out and I'm on the side of the swimming yeah. pool and I'm in agony, screaming. Yeah. All the other tourists were trying to name which tune it was that you were singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, my wife calls the ambulance. Now, the ambulance that comes is one of those really small ones that they have in Spain. So when they try to put me in the ambulance, I don't go in properly. <laughs> How small is it? Because my arm's sticking out and I can't get through the door. So the guy gets out the ambulance, the ambulance man, and I'm screaming, and, I, and my wife is saying, give him something for the pain, give him something for the pain. So the guy takes off his T-shirt, rolls it up into a little ball, puts it in my mouth and says, Bite on this. <laughs> wow. And I had to bite on his sweaty T-shirt. <laughs> did that, stop the did pain. that help with the pain? Well, it just stopped the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> How long yeah. did it take to heal up? I asked the question uh, again go, as you swerved I, it. I had to go to hospital. I don't understand that, but I, after you went to hospital, how long did it take for your arm to get back to normal state? Oh, no, fine? I had an operation. <laughs> I was My client there. does not want to answer the question. <laughs> Once again, I'll tell you what happened. I, I was in there and, uh, you know... Uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with your knees. <laughs> I had to have the, the tendons sewn together. 
Yeah. And you know when you, they wheel you into that recovery room? Yeah. And uh, you, as you wake up, you'll know, as you wake up from kind of uh, anaesthetic, you get really cold, don't yes. you? Yes. So I'm shivering away in bed, and I'm saying to the people in the, in the recovery room, oh, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. All of a sudden, this nurse, who was huge, big woman, hears me saying that... <laughs> across, hears me saying that across the other side of the room. <laughs> and... She... <laughs> <laughs> she, she hears me saying across the other side of the room that I'm cold. Yeah. Next minute, she comes bounding across, lays on top of me, saying, I'll keep him warm, I'll keep him warm. <laughs> it was like a terrifying version of Baywatch. What kind of... Uh, I, I repeat, what kind of unorthodox medical procedures are going on here? <laughs> so how long did it take you to recover from this? <laughs> I'm just thinking, Martin, that if, if we wanted to bring this to life, to visualise it... Shall I be yeah. the nurse? Mel, you <laughs> could be the nurse. Can I just... No, can I just say, I am, I am only half... half-dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reveal day wear. Even to lie it... on Martin Kemp? Yeah, go no. on. I'll reveal day wear. <laughs> so, you, you're, you're lying down. <laughs> so, I'm lying down... In Watch bed. your shoulder now, Martin. I'm laying down in bed, right, saying, Yes. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. He's very cold. He's very, very cold. Please. I'm freezing. <laughs> we, we need a nurse. We need a nurse. We need a nurse. We need a nurse. Oh. Need a nurse. Oh. Take a chance, woman. Get on. I'll tell you something, it was the last Lilo I've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> so how long was you at, did it take to recover from this uh, injury? Uh, did that really happen? <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, what are you thinking? Truth or lie? I think it's <laughs> pure fallacy. Lie? Oh, I say for sure it's lie. Oh, yeah. Lie, we'll say lie. You'll say it's a lie. Martin Kemp, lie or truth? <laughs> I think he means it's true. What is that? Big oh. I thought you were expecting Mel to press your nipple and it would come <laughs> up. <laughs> this much is true. <laughs> uh, that noise signals time is up and it's the end of the show. I can reveal that Lee's team have won by three points to two. Thanks for watching. Good night.